Joining us uh, in studio is Professor Piti Gagantu, Limarikana Massacre, man in green jacket exhibitor and historian. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. And Kusa Elwa Danki is the Marikana attorney uh, who's joining us on the line. Let's start in studio with Professor Nduli. Good evening to you and welcome. I mean, it has been, it has been a very tragic uh, sensitive, emotional, controversial journey for the past five years. It now brings us to 1.1 billion rand in compensation. You cannot replace the loss of life, and especially for the uh, the victims, uh, or rather the, the, the remaining members uh, of the deceased. Would you say that government had handled this matter adequately or satisfactorily? I think what really counts is that, uh, you know, finally the government has come over to the party in order to relieve the uh, you know, suffering uh, you know, families. Uh, this matter was not adequately uh, in, in, in addressed. So there's been backing and for women, there's been too much politics. But now that uh, a decision has been taken firmly, it's going to bring about relief you know, to the uh, families. Well, they still have to accept the uh, the offer, though, because especially if you divide it on, what is it, 635 or so claimants, uh, the, do you think the, the uh, families could argue that it is not enough and perhaps uh, continue with litigation? Uh, I, I think it could be kind of a both, uh, both things. People would want to have it, but when families are very desperate, I think many of them would want to, to take whatever they are going to have, because if at all they don't, it might drag for another year, drag for another eight or two years without any solution, uh, you know, coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your, your recommendation would be, of course, a, a further counselling to ensure that there is a, a healing process that is continuous as much as needed, uh, over and above just dumping money on the table of, uh, of uh, the uh, beneficiaries. Yeah, I think the, the, the question of very extensive uh, you know, healing you know, process, it, it won't only heal the families, it will feel hit the nation. Because everybody speaks about it. You mentioned the uh, you know, Marikana, it brings back the old apartheid, uh, you know, massacres and, and so on. But it has happened now. Government need to take it on board to uh, get the cleansing of the scene where these things had actually happened and then to help the families come to, uh, you know, to terms. And the people that were involved in it, both the police and the politicians, you know, themselves need to be part of this uh, kind of cleansing. Yeah. Are, are mm -hmm. you recommending another uh, uh, TRC uh, reconciliation uh, process to, to be instituted? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the truth of reconciliation needs to be instituted because it is going to help us to get over right to the bottom of it because this is an operation. We have gone through massacres, they've traumatized us. To have it in a, a democratic uh, in a society creates a, a you know, kind of conceptual uh, you know, violence uh, in, in, for us. But yeah. just like it, that at least there's a move forward. Yeah, but, but would you say there's a semblance, semblance of justice now that the compensation amount has been put forward? Uh, or the offer is now pending the acceptance from families that this is indeed a matter that we can put to rest? I think uh, we, we have to put it to rest, but you can't put it uh, you know, to rest until a thorough going uh, you know, trauma treatment, healing, bringing the community uh, you know, together, together with the perpetrators to set an example. We came with the Truth and Reconciliation Committee, we were the first ones, and everybody uh, you know, glorified us, everybody was happy that we we're absolutely progressive. When it comes on to what we have done now, directly af affecting some of our own uh, you know, members, mm -hmm. we need it uh, you know, more. It shouldn't necessarily be a blaming you know, issue. It's to say we have made a very big uh, you know, mistake, lives are lost, people have suffered, children have become an uh, you know, offense. Let's bring it closer in a very typical, uh, you know, proper African sense. Yeah. Well, we also joined Professor Ntuli by uh, Nogwanele Pagati. She, is, she lost a family member in the uh, uh, 2012 uh, Marikana massacre. Uh, Nogwanele, thank you so much for joining us. And I suppose condolences or commensurations, uh, uh, you know, uh, are not necessarily um, adequate. But maybe you can tell us in terms of the compensation now that has been brought forward, whether this indeed will put the matter to rest. Uh, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know whether there is a misunderstanding. Yeah. Um, uh, my name is Kusel Wakyangi, 
Oh, I beg your pardon. Yes. Uh, they, they make them so young these days, hey? They don't make the lawyers uh, <laughs> like they old. did before. <laughs> as, as the, in fact, uh, Kuselwat Gyanki is the Marikana attorney. And thanks so much. Good evening to you. I beg your pardon. Uh, just in terms of, uh, you know, we were arguing whether the families have got any other leverage uh, to, to litigate if they feel that the compensation is not enough. Um, yes, they, they do, because uh, as we speak, um, we cannot say um, uh, they, don't, they, they, they don't have uh, leverage because, as we speak, we are in negotiations with the state. So if uh, the families, they feel that um, the, the compensation is, is not uh, uh, at least reasonable as they lost their loved ones, I think we will continue fighting for them. Yeah, and, and we were asking whether, you know, they would feel, what would be the basis of, of the, you know, rejecting the, the offer and whether this is a semblance of uh, justice, considering it's dragged on for so long. Yeah, it's been uh, almost five years now. So uh, uh, if, uh, if the state, I mean, we have our court papers, so they know what we have asked for. So at the least, because we know that money is not going to bring their loved ones. So uh, I think the, the reasonable uh, uh, offer that they can give the families is what they have asked on the court papers. Yeah. So the, reason, the, the only reason that we are uh, negotiating with the state because they asked us to, to, to do all of this process out of, outside of court, we, do, we still have an option if the state is not giving uh, what the families want. We, we can still continue litigating through uh, court mm. processes. But, but there's also the perennial problem in terms of employer-employee em relations in the mining sector g in general. The shoddy or uh, poor working conditions and living circumstances, the wages, etc., mm. pretty much which was uh, the preamble of what happened in Marikana. Uh, the, 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 the hope is that we avoid or circumvent any future incidents of its kind. Has there been enough, you think, from the private sector, Lonman in particular, to address the Farlam Commission's recommendations when it comes to the housing and, and giving a humane conditions of living? Uh, I mean, from where I'm sitting and from what I understand following, uh, you know, these issues, uh, Lonmin hasn't done uh, as much as it should be, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, to do it. Because people were hoping that uh, the whole thing is just going to uh, move and to, to disappear, but this is clearly not uh, uh, you know, disappearing. And that uh, loan mean has got to come to uh, uh, you know, the table and, and, and work out the figures that mm. are going to help uh, you know, the families uh, you know, get what uh, they rightfully uh, you know, deserve. Because those that uh, are their, uh, you know, bread uh, you know, earners are no longer, are no longer there. Mm. Mm. And, and are you following up on that to, to be a, not necessarily a revi revenue stream, but to ensure that all the recommendations are implemented? Definitely. We do follow, we do, uh, uh, following up. And um, as we all know that the living conditions uh, in, the, in Marikana, they are appalling. And we are only hoping that uh, the uh, loan mean the company will do uh, 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 what is best for the, the, the employees and follow uh, 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 the, the recommendations that were, that were uh, 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 How far are they? Sorry the... to, to break your word. How far are they in terms of fulfilling that obligation? I, I cannot lie. I am not sure for now. Okay. But we... Okay, okay. Well, it's something that we'll watch closely. Yes. And now, Nogwanele uh, Pagati is uh, the, uh, or rather, she lost a family member in the Marikana massacre of 2012. Nogwanele, thanks so much for joining us. You know, we can talk about this from a news point of view. It's hugely politicized. But for somebody who's lost a family member in the massacre, how do you feel now with the government putting forward the 1.1 billion rand, uh, uh, you know, towards the class action? Hi, no one, Ellen. Hello. Hello, Ninjani. Yes, yes, yes. So the 1.1 billion rand that government has offered, do you think that this will give you uh, a sense of comfort and that justice is done? What is the ambiguous cause? Oh, what is the cause? I think it's the cause of the government. The government is the cause of the government. 1.1 billion. What is the so, 
Tayenu no nge because i i lawyers zey no fanega zizi zoteta na inu bani ayamgela oga nyeka so ni na izo into onga iphone au na jongo monto la segelo monto ni mtanda yoyi ne onga tu uya iphone eza nzugu tu kule. I just see it right. I'm not like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on the list. I'm just like I'm. I'm not even on Hi, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Thank you very much. First of all, I must say uh, uh, you'd make a better politician than a news reporter. In terms of uh, the attorney that's representing the people, the Yankees, uh, she, she has a, the surname of a politician. I'm not sure if she's been a political appointee. Uh, Comrade Pitikanduli, you have been at the fore in terms of the African Renaissance. And I'm sure you'd understand these issues much better than anybody else. No amount of money, whether it is the TRC, which did not offer people funding or payments for all the atrocities that happened, could cure what happened in South Africa. So the money is being offered by government to the victims that took place for the atrocities that took place there is not going to assist them. Yes, right now they are hungry, so they'd accept anything Alex, that you, you, know, you offer you know, Yes, yes, yes. And I, and I think we agree with you. You've made a, a lot of assumptions about uh, not, not only what we're trying to do here, calling it a spin in, 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 in short, but, I mean, what is your reaction to all of it? Are you saying that it's my an action. exercise in fu futility? <laughs> are you saying that, you know, more should be given? What are you saying? No, no. In, not, in terms of money, you cannot replace it. We sh it, it should be a sustainable assistance, number one. No, number two, we should ask ourselves as to those people that gave those instructions, that those people who were merciless, mercilessly murdered, which happened previously in the apartheid regime, what, what, what consequences do they follow? Do they just get a paycheck? Are they, are they continuously being covered? This is the, this is the road to recovery. All right, not, to de not to redeploy them into other senior positions. I hear you. And Prof. I, yeah. and, 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 and Prof. Uh, Pitikanturi, we've had many engagements. Uh, we sat with Professor Tisai, uh, Professor Mir, Ephraim Fogute, and so forth, under the CCG, immediately after the 1994 elections. And we discussed certain issues like this. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. We really appreciate it. Alex, we'll get our, our panelists to respond. Tabo and Butsabelo, good evening to you and thanks for calling. Hey, do you mind me? Hi, Tabo. Hey. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, we're uh, really uh, struggling to hear you. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. No, I, I simply can't hear you on set. Uh, we'll just try our producers to, to patch you again. Tabo? All right. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, there we go. It's better. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Actually, I wanted to know... Uh, Initially, how, how much these people actually wanted from the government, initially? All right, I'm not sure we'll have the attorney or lawyer to, to respond to that. Why? What's, what's your point? Okay, I, I just wanted to know that. All right, Tabo, we, we're going to have to leave it there. I just want to go back to Umamua Uno Guanele, saying that the money would help your, your, your children. Gunom for Alex because Oh, okay. Because Ogwa manja awazuba imalini le ezoza guwe. Oga ni ekfanel. Andi azuti imalini. Uwa obuzele uti kai pela abandwa nbenga kakuli. Nbenga kansisi pela wana nbenga kakuli. Ngobomi zomi nansi nansi kakuli. Oh, okay. Let's get Kusalwa to, to respond uh, around, I don't know if there's a, a ballpark figure or, or is it divided equally, how does it work exactly, and, and also the, the much more vertical intervention 
uh, or rather especially the accountability of those that were involved from the police to the minister. We know her demise, uh, but what, what kind of penalty has been made to them? So are we, I, I, I didn't hear the, the questions. Yeah. So, my, so my question is, number one, what is the amount? So the one caller wanted to know that each beneficiary okay. uh, is, is entitled to. And secondly, the accountability on the whole value chain uh, with regards to the massacre. Okay. So when it comes to the offers, uh, I, I cannot speak uh, on how much um, uh, each maybe family uh, has received because, uh, like I said, we are still in, uh, in talks with the state attorney. So... Uh, I cannot uh, uh, answer on that one. And when it comes to accountability, uh, we were very shocked because uh, most uh, of the senior officials were absolved uh, after, after the report uh, has come out and uh, no accountability on all of them. So we do, like, it, it's shocking. And all we have right now is uh, we are hoping that uh, since the, the president has released the the, 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 the statement saying that uh, 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 certain uh, police officials uh, should be investigated, um, hoping that there will be uh, prosecution afterwards. Other than that... Yeah, but can you take a civil, make a civil claim, or can the families make civil claims against uh, the individual police officers? Unfortunately, uh, in South Africa, they can't. We have to sue the state. Um, so if we're suing whoever... We are suing them in their official capacity, but you have to sue the state. All right, let's take to line in Springs. Mkaya Gunjani. Hi, uh, Cindy. Yeah, Pierre, uh, what's your comment or question? Uh, Cindy, um, I'm, I'm, my name is Tulani. I'm a, I'm a member of the South African Police Service here in Springs. And I just want to say uh, to all the people there, the opposition and everyone, no one can ever give an order to a policeman to kill people. That can never happen in South Africa, in this democratic uh, country. And no policeman can ever take such an order to just kill people. What happened there? People are taking policemen. And policemen, they, well, according to opposition parties, they should have been killed there. They should have done nothing and, and been hacked to death by those uh, strikers. And first was an illegal strike. Police people said uh, those people must stop. They didn't stop. They went charging to a policeman, carrying a pang and, 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 and every sort of a weapon. And, you know, if, as a policeman, if somebody, anyone, anyone of you, even you, Cindy, if you can charge at a policeman yeah, Chulan, with Chulan, a Chulan pang. Yabuzwa, but, I mean, you would, yeah. as a police officer, one would assume in that volatile situation that the aim of shooting would be to subdue, not to kill. There has also been evidence that many of the mine workers were shot while they were fleeing, so shot in the back. Uh, and that in itself is evidence that we cannot shy away or try and explain. Uh, I yeah, think but, for government those, right I now, I mean, Tulana, with all due respect, I'm just saying that we, we, we cannot now try and, and, and suggest that uh, the Falun Commission, number one, made a wrong ruling, and secondly, government's reaction uh, is also feeding into uh, the blame game of the police necessarily. Now it's a time to rectify that which went horribly wrong. I thank you for your call, Mkaya. Thank you, thank you so much. And we have Bongani in Berea. Good evening to you. Hi, Bongani. Hi, how are you, Cindy? I'm good. You're a little bit faint, uh, sir. Can you speak up, please? Yes, how are you, Cindy? I'm and good, thank you. Good. Just want to comment on that one. Mm, carry on. Yes, I think the, the compensation uh, the government have done very well to strictly all the nerves done with the people. People were, uh, this thing was all over the country. People were talking about Marikani, Marikani. Mm -hmm. I think this will be over and people will be also bringing their hearts down to say, ah, they've done something. And let's carry on, continue with life. Because this thing is now being used as a political weapon. That's what we don't want as citizens, you see. But mm -hmm. we say the government has done nicely to settle everything down. I think also the people who lost their loved ones will be also hit with it. 
Thank you. All right, all right, Bongane. It's, it's still to be determined whether the families will accept the offers, but uh, nonetheless, the, the, the lack of accountability on the individual members, whether an instruction was given or they overreacted, doesn't that leave a bitter pill, especially as Alex was saying, that they simply get redeployed, merrily go along their lives while other people uh, live in, in, in lavish, in, or rather in angst and, and, and sorrow? Yeah, I, I think this issue is not as easy as it uh, appears. There are about 652 people, and many of them had made specific claims uh, to uh, the government of how much they want. Others were maliciously uh, you know, wounded, and they cannot uh, work. So there are a variety of them. It would be interesting to hear, in a sense, you know, from the lawyers how they break uh, you know, this 650 uh, you know, two uh, you know, people, those that were wounded uh, maliciously are one category, those that were killed it's another category. So there are quite a variety of uh, you know, categories and a lot of uh, you know, sums that need to be, you know, to be counted. Yeah, but, but how soon do we conclude so that the likes of Umama Unawanele would know when to expect uh, either engagement or a, a, a um, compensation? Okay, just want to answer to that. Um, uh, uh, the, the, the claims, uh, like you said, we are representing the families of the deceased, so those uh, claims uh, separately, um, um, uh, they have um, about 320 uh, uh, claimants. Mm. So I, I don't know how the state, when they're dividing the one billion, and how did they uh, do it on their side. So uh, there's another team who is representing the injured and arrested who, who've got their own claims as well which they know also how much they're claiming. So on our side, um, uh, like I said, the offers that we have, um, they, they, they fall a loss of support. And the loss of support we have about, I can say, 30 and the six, they are still like um, uh, 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 being negotiated All right. from the We're state. We're going to have to, to bring it back another time. I do beg your pardon. We're out of time. That was Kusa Luakyanki, Marikana attorney, and Professor Piti Gagantoli is Marikana Massacre Man in Green, a exhibitor, a historian, and a stalwart, uh, an activist, and all these other uh, titles that he deserves. And you at home, thanks indeed for joining us as well. Mama Unokwanele, Pagati, Siti, Ukole.